Each year, one graduating senior is selected to address the commencement audience, but especially the graduates. Tonight, the student address will be given by Marcus Stefano. Marcus, as you have already heard, is graduating with a major in management and an overall academic average of a perfect 4.0. Beyond academic pursuits, Marcus has served the campus and the community as a member of the Student Emergency Response Force, SURF, a voluntary organization that helps protect our precious mountain from fire. We look forward to listening to the words Marcus will now share with our 2010 graduating classes. Marcus. Thank you, Mr. President. More than a hundred years ago, some brave souls arrived in Smyrna in Asia Minor and established an American college. No one could have predicted how that institution would survive through time. No one could have predicted that it would cross the Aegean and finally settle in Athens in the early 20th century. Certainly, no one could have predicted that in the years that passed, the college would become the great institution that it is today. And today, we, the class of 2010, having witnessed the fruits of 135 years of evolution of this college, stand here before you, Mr. President, honorable faculty, distinguished guests, friends and loved ones, hoping that we accomplished everything that you expected from us in our time in this unique institution in Greece. While quenching our thirst for knowledge at the desks of Deere College, we evolved, not only on an academic level, but on a personal one as well. We forged strong friendships, studied together, and competed in numerous athletic events. We got involved in the college clubs, danced and performed, wrote poetry and literature. We sang and created art. We worked out in the gym, studied in our library, swam in the pool and relaxed on our fresh and welcoming grass while enjoying the beautiful view around the campus. We also became more socially aware and learned that a little effort goes a long way. Some donated blood, others learned, chose to learn how to perform first aid, others were instructed in fire safety techniques. Our choices were diverse, yet we're all geared towards the same goal, to have the ability to help ourselves and our fellow citizens in a time of need, to be proactive and socially conscious, to keep the light of knowledge we acquired beaming and illuminating for everyone around us. I believe that I speak on behalf of every single one of us when I say that our time at Dury College was so much more rewarding than just an academic experience. However, the multifaceted education we received was always the cornerstone of our experience with state-of-the-art facilities, carefully chosen reading material, and the best of instructors. Please allow me to convey our deep feelings of gratitude to those pivotal, pivotal to our journey, our instructors, advisors, and everyone who invested time and effort to forge us anew as useful citizens. To anyone who listened to our worries, provided advice when we needed it, and still support us in any way they can. Our sincere feelings of gratitude extend towards all the faculty members and others who provided for our every need, making sure that our education would be unobstructed and created an environment to be proud of 
clean, safe facilities and the beautiful landscape around our institution. We know that without everyone's contribution, we would be unable to stand before you today full of, pr full of pride and dreams of shaping the future of this world. I would like to promise that we shall use the light of education we were blessed with at this institution to bring forth positive change and meaningful evolution to our world. Since ancient times, humanity understood that education is the key to true freedom, and freedom is our strongest ally, not only in our efforts of making the world a better place, but also in our very own pursuit of happiness. After all, the best way to predict the future is to create it yourself. And now it's our time to do exactly that. <laughs> Mr. President, distinguished guests, honorable faculty, friends and loved ones, I present you the new graduates of Derry College, the class of 2010, the future. <laughs>